Hi guys, I'm here again with another dash cam review and uh, in this video I'm going to show you the Autovox X1. It's a, a special mirror dash cam. It comes with a, a rear dash cam as well which is waterproof so you can stick it to the outside and have it as a reversing camera. And there is also a GPS attachment that you can plug into it as well. So I'll show you what's in the box. <laughs> So this is the Autovox X1 dash cam. The entire mirror is an LCD touchscreen. The front facing dash cam is on the rear and it is adjustable and you can attach it to your mirror using these attachments that come with it. There's two attachments, there's one for a thin mirror and one for a thick mirror. The rear camera is waterproof so you can use it on the outside of your vehicle. There is a degree of flexibility as to where you can put the rear camera. Um, it would be ideal for a van if you can't see out your back window. You can use it as a reversing camera to uh, fix behind the registration plate. The back bit does detach if you unscrew it so you can stick it in enough wherever you like. But you have to keep it this way around because there's, there's no way of flipping the image from the camera. You can use the red wire to wire it up to your reversing light so that when you put it into reverse the like a parking guide comes up to use as a rear view reversing camera. It, it will still operate as a rear camera without having to wire it in. All the wires connect at the top of the dash cam. You've got the rear view camera, the GPS and the power lead as well as the micro SD card slot right at the top. This is the GPS attachment. It's useful if you want to track your speed or the direction that you've been going in. You can view it on the software that comes with the camera on your computer or laptop. So this is the rear camera powered on, you can see it displayed there. You can adjust the mirror view by moving it up or down and it will save the last uh, view that you have it on. And you stick it onto your original mirror using these bad boys. They clip on back to the mirror dash cam here and they go around your mirror and then they click on here. They do include some longer ones if you have a thicker mirror to help it fit a bit more tightly. And this is it actually on my rear view mirror. It's a uh, clipped over the mirror as you can see here and then wrapped round and then clipped on the back of the dash cam and it's powered by a cigarette lighter attachment here so if you connect everything up there's the power lead the gps and the rear camera if you don't want to use the gps you don't have to and if you don't want to install the rear camera you don't have to it will work fine without installing those i won't be using the gps so I won't be installing it but if you do need to use it you can use the sticky pad here you can either stick it to your window or either on the side of your window here or even on your dashboard and it'll still pick up the GPS signal from the satellites so I'll take you through some of the menu features now as you can see here as I've uh, previously mentioned you can scroll up and down the view from the rear or front camera and whichever one you leave it at you'll stay at that setting for you each time you switch it on that's the front camera there dead easy to switch through the front and back cameras there I've just stopped the recording and now I'll go into the menu functions by pressing this cog here at the end there's an option here to format your SD card there's also a lane departure warning system which uh, should give you a warning if you start going over the white lines there's an option to display your speed in miles per hour or kilometers per hour there's also the date and time you can adjust the front camera's resolution it's 1296p or 1080p which is very clear there's a loop recording function you can have that set to one minute two minutes or three minutes you can adjust your g sensor for it to save recordings if uh, you detect a bump while you're driving there's also a parking mode on there to give you some degree of uh, protection when you're parked up 
you want to save a file from being recorded over, you press this padlock button here. And what that will do is it will stop the video file being recorded over. And when you press it, you'll notice that the it gets locked and in the top left hand corner, the red flashing recording symbol has now changed to yellow, which means whatever happens in the front or rear dash cam, it records and locks that file so it won't be recorded over in loop record. Also, you can adjust which way the camera lens is facing. It is movable by a little bit. You can move it up, down, left or right. You can change the view on the camera mirror by pressing the power button that's underneath. If you press it once, it goes into driving mode and you can have your speed there in the left hand corner. If you press it again, you can just use it as an ordinary mirror. It does continue recording and also if you want to get back into the menu or see the screen again, you just press the button and it should come back up. And you can switch between the front and the rear camera. This is what you see when you put the micro SD card into your computer. All your video and photo files are all saved into one folder. And uh, there is an EXE file there, which is the program you can use to watch your GPS data. Unfortunately, I've got a Mac and there doesn't seem to be a Mac version of it. Only Windows at the moment. So now I'll show you some sample footage from the front and rear camera in the day and night time. There you have it, that's my review of the Autovox X1 streaming mirror dash cam. I do thought it was a, an extremely well put together dash cam. The quality is extremely high. It's a dash cam that I'd want to use and uh, if you want to purchase it, have a look at the description box below and I'll give you links there. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.